Hey there. So, not only do I like to make these silly little YouTube videos, I spend probably way too much time watching uh, YouTube videos. Some of them silly, some of them great. I enjoy um, several different YouTube channels, certainly the ones down in Ecuador, a million JP, uh, travel abroad stuff, Don Shader's stuff. A lot of great uh, video content coming out. I also watch a lot of travel videos, things from pack hackers, things like that I enjoy. And occasionally I just watch random YouTube videos and I've seen a couple on tips and tricks how to get through TSA security. Well, I thought I would make a tips and trick video on how to get through TSA security in an efficient manner. It's um, pretty simple actually. Sign up for TSA PreCheck. Global Entry or PreCheck both get you PreCheck. That's it. Thanks for watching. Nah, I'm joking. I will send a, I'll add a link on here on how to get to TSA PreCheck and sign up. Do it. There's no reason not to. Um, well, there might be a reason. We don't need to go into uh, your criminal background or anything. But if you can sign up for TSA PreCheck, do it. It's simple. It, it's cost effective in my mind. It, it's, I don't know how much it is. It's like 50 to 100 bucks for TSA PreCheck. I think it's 100 for global entry. If you're traveling around a lot, I wholeheartedly recommend getting global entry because it makes uh, you go to a whole lot shorter line when you come back to the U.S. But sign up for these programs. I mean, you can make an argument about government oversight and surveillance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You lost that battle as soon as you flew on an airplane, though, especially if you go overseas. They already know everything about you. Um, in fact, you probably s skip the colonoscopy, just ask them. They probably already know the results. I'll probably leave that in. Maybe I should cut it, but I'll leave that statement in. So sign up for these programs. I'll leave a link how to do it. If you have um, a travel card, like an American Express Platinum, um, American Express uh, Delta Reserve card, uh, I think some of the Chase cards, um, I'm an Amex fanboy, but um, I think, I'm pretty sure you get this in some of the Chase cards as well. You, uh, they'll reimburse you for the cost of Global Entry or TSA PreCheck. So it's basically free if you've already chunked out the change for these um, overpriced cards you uh, can get a free uh, TSA pre-check. Do it. Uh, it doesn't do any good if you don't get your wife to do it, which can be the challenge. It took me a bit. But uh, get them on there as well so you can go tripping through that TSA pre-check line. No taking off your boots. Um, no unpacking your laptop and all, whatever junk you've got in your bag. You can just slide that right on through. No taking out your little uh, portable bag of um, liquids. You do have to follow the same rules. Your liquids can't be over 100 milliliters, 3.5 ounces, I think. Uh, you obviously can't have any weapons. Uh, don't forget to take that uh, leather mitt out of your uh, travel bag before you uh, get on the airplane. And um, But you don't have to take your shoes off. Uh, you don't have to take your belt off if your belt uh, doesn't set off the X-ray machine or the metal detectors. And there's plenty of travel belts and travel channels galore that will give you advice on what doesn't set those things off. I won't repeat it here. But then you just slide through TSA PreCheck. It's super easy. My world record, my personal world record, here in Oregon is hitting the shoulder of the airport and my Uber and in less than five minutes being on the other side of security. That was a uh, good, I've only done that twice. Usually it takes me about five or ten minutes to get uh through security here at uh, PDX, but it's a well laid out airport and pre-check usually isn't that long. So short story made overly long, go get it. That is your number one tip to get through TSA. Go get your pre-check. I'll put some links in the description. Good luck and have fun with it.